difference. Yeah, it just needs to be. It just needs to be fixed. I, I don't think so. We're, so we're not draining any swamp, and that's the point. Draining Back to square bit. one. We're not draining Drain, any swamp. There's no it, Shrek. There's I want no to donkey. A or a lake. Come I don't on. Think it's a swamp. Make it a. Make it a. Uh, you know, well ordered, um, well defined lake instead of a big gooey, overbearing swamp. That's okay. What I uh, I, I don't think that wanting to, um, let's say, trim the unofficial fourth branch of government um, is the same level of brainwashing of blindly following whatever your favorite celebrity ah. says. I don't think that that's exactly the same thing. There are drain the swamp people who don't think about it. Like, that's true. But, like, it's also very true that through sh through Chevron deference, like, the unelected bureaucracy has way more power than they should. Okay, and what the hell is drain the swamp supposed to mean exactly? Uh, again, it depends on the person. The way I interpret it um, and steel man it is essentially we have a very large bureaucracy of unelected people that has grown, again, because of a bad Supreme Court decision called Chevron deference, um, that, or rather a lack of Supreme Court decision, and it should go away because these people are entrenched for years and years and are really the people with the power and yet are unaccountable. That's so you, you have a problem with term limits, not, not bureaucracy. Um, I don't understand how to, I, I, I mean, well, again, I mean, like, like, like don't your friends are appointed. Like it, like it feels like a category here to say that they should have term limits. Well, I mean, you can put term limits on anything, right? I suppose. In, in a government that. structure. Yeah. Um, I, feel okay. that. I mean, it's kind of weird though, because the bureaucrats are supposed to be like the experts, experts, like they're not just the decision makers, like they're like the technical people. So trading them out all the time, while it'd be useful for like political safety is also kind of dangerous in terms of lowering expertise and merit. Um, so, so you don't want to drain the swamp. Um, I, I do though. It's, it's complicated. I don't know how it would work exactly. I think that there's a lot of bureaucratic jobs that are probably not necessary. I, I imagine that as with all government projects, there's a lot of bloat that I'd like. But to you try. understand, you understand why bureaucracy is important to democracy. Yes, yes, of course. Some level of bureaucracy is dead necessary. It's just this one is bloated and corrupt and has not been looked at and has too much power because Congress like gives it, like allows it to figure out the specifics. Um, you don't want some. You don't want some wild west outlaw kicking in the doors of no, no. the U.S. government and just trying to change shit because they think they're Andrew Tate and they have the answers. No, what I want to do is get rid of Chevron deference, which means that like the way that it works is that Congress can say, I want to do X thing and like lower the carbon. And then it gives it to the EPA. And then the EPA can do literally whatever it wants to hit that like limit. And that's insane. I feel like Congress, it should have the bureaucracy should have way less discretion. Congress should be mandated to be much more specific. That way our representatives are actually the ones pulling the levers instead of leaving it up to unelected bureaucrats with agendas. What I call think, me brain, call me brainwashed, Don. Don. What I what I think needs to happen, and uh, first of all, that's when you talk to someone about draining the swamp, they don't go, oh, "I want to get rid of Chevron deference." What that means, John, is that the smart basic, people like you who want to get rid of Chevron deference have created propaganda and marketing tools with fancy slogans like "drain the swamp," and now we have a bunch of people going to. Um, What's his name? The guy from Shrek and trying to drain his swamp. Listen. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> let, 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 let me finish my point of view. Let this me finish my perspective. Let me finish, your, first let me finish my perspective. So when you're going out there yelling, drain the swamp, you think there's some fucking cabal, some corruption that sits within government, twiddling its thumb, like depictions of like the Jews and like Shakespeare's Merchant of Vienna, right? Like that's what what's, what people are thinking about. So that's the brainwash. If you're chanting those slogans, that's probably where you are. But I want to quickly hit on the idea of, okay, we have this unelected fourth branch of government. Well, how about recognize that all the people who work for the assemblymen and the congressmen in their offices, writing bills, these, these, this is a branch of the government. And for me, instead of saying, hmm, let's not include it or let's power it down, I, I think the, the, the what needs to happen is a constitutional amendment to recognize it as a branch of government rethink its powers because the job of a politician isn't simply to be the one in the intellectual writing all these laws and going over them what they need to do is be leaders they need to be people who can form coalitions who could hold on to staff and run offices productive offices that work for the people that they represent so we just have to make sure that that fourth third branch of government is, is is recognized in my opinion that's all i think we have to do Really, you think Congress should be able to say, I want carbon to go down this much in the atmosphere, unelected bureaucrats, do whatever you want, 
use any power that Congress has to make that happen. You think that's okay? That the Congress doesn't have those people. Those people who are that unelected bureaucrats have that much discretion. Really, those people don't. First of all, they have to report. They can't just you can. They, you say they can do whatever they want. No, they can't decide. Hey guys, we're gonna go and murder all the people in the middle of the country who own beef farms to lower the carbon footprint. They, they can't do whatever they want. So stop saying they can do whatever they want. They you know they the can't line. literally do whatever they want, right, John? Everybody, uh, look up the uh, Supreme Court case. Um, in that it was recently decided it was like a couple of years ago um it was somebody versus epa look into to the type of uh, licensure and the discretion that they were operating and then get back to me and decide oh okay discretion maybe they, should be, maybe they should be maybe should be more open maybe there but there needs to be a recognition that this fourth branch of governance is necessary for our governments yeah it just needs to be it just needs to be fixed i, I don't it's, think so we're, so we're not draining any swamp and that's the point we're, draining back to square one. we're not draining Drain, any swamp there's no total, shrek there's i want no to donkey a or a lake. come I don't on a swamp make it a Make it a, uh, you know, well-ordered, um, well-defined lake instead of a big, gooey, overbearing swamp. That's okay. What then but maybe- Don, 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 isn't there some trimming to be done in this bureaucratic trimming? soup? I don't know if there needs to be trimming, right? For me, tr- it's, a, it's, it's almost like saying um, we have this yard. And we're thinking about like the government's like grass growing that we have to trim once in a while. That's mm-hmm. a narrative. When we say it needs to be trimming, what do we mean by trimming? Are we meaning on um, uh, cutting and eliminating social security? No, I don't think we have to cut and eliminate social security. But if Ooh. by trimming we are talking about restructuring specific government programs, then yeah. let's say restructuring specific government programs because that's a heck of a lot different than defund the police. Which should have never been called defund the police. It should have just been called restructure and refund the police. But it's exactly that language, which is the brainwashing element. But Don, Don, what about this? What about this idea of of repopulating the swamp with a more (laughs) equal racial representation? Uh, Sure, I I don't really care about that's irrelevant to me. Okay. Some people yeah, do yeah. care. That's the big. I know thing. some people do care. People say, there's not enough. There's not enough blacks here. I just want the flight. best people for the job. Really, I just okay. Based opinion, um, especially when they're flying airplanes. Um, but that's a, that's a separate news story. Um, but to your point, Travis, um, and this is something that people have to understand. Like, I know that like the slogans are annoying. I agree, they're imprecise and almost a little bit dangerous. But it's exactly the same as YouTube. It's like you got to be clickbait. You got to have the thumbnail. You have got to have the thing that everybody can raw, raw, and repeat. And the content is under it. But if you aren't viral, if you don't know how to do propaganda, then the content has no prayer of getting out. And that creates risks. I know it does. But it also seems kind of inevitable. So I'm not I'm not the biggest hater on the drain to swamp rhetoric because, like, I like that the vague idea is out there, at least, as opposed to having no idea out there at all. Because there's no version of this where I get to have a dissertation be catchy. Uh, you have to only have, you know, clickbait. Sorry. That's how it works.